the honor of valedictorian is given to the student who meets all of the above qualifications just mentioned, but he has also gone above and beyond with AP classes taken, as well as taken the maximum course load throughout his time at Golden High School and achieving the very highest of grades. It is my great honor to introduce the class of 2021 valedictorian, Roshan Klein Sitharaman. Hello, I would first like to thank you for being such awesome classmates, teachers, and counselors. As I was trying to write this speech, it was really difficult for me to come up with something to say without making myself a standing joke. And probably I still will. When Googling valedictorian speech, I learned that I was supposed to be funny. As a result, countless previous drafts have started with math jokes, like two random variables talk in a bar, why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip, and even a long, overly complicated joke about self-referential logic. For those of you that know me, you may have seen those math jokes coming. Anyway, upon reconsideration for your sanity, I've removed them. Instead, I'd like to speak about the future. And to do this, I want to share my thoughts on climate change, which will affect the way we all live and function. As we are graduating from school and into the world, I'd like to ask, what, what world are we actually stepping into? Climate change epitomizes that we aren't jumping onto a stationary platform, but rather stumbling onto something that's moving and changing, namely the planet, beneath our feet. To that end, I would like to present an example uh, for the challenges imposed on our world by climate change. The golden toad. Yes, you heard me correctly. A toad that shares a name with our school. The golden toad once inhabited the cloud forests of Costa Rica. Whilst our school's name emanates from prospectors of the past, our amphibian gets its name from its bright gold coloration. In the year 1989, a single specimen was seen, and since then, no one has ever caught another glimpse. It is hypothesized that changes in climate caused the extinction of this animal because they, like many amphibians, breathe and regulate water primarily through their skin. Thus, the climate plays a major role in their health. Today, the golden toad's tragic extinction has gained fame as the first species loss caused directly by climate change. I wanted to bring attention to the golden toad not just because it's a cool symbol for our class, though I'm not sure a toad is any better than a demon, but also because it illustrates the kind of massive yet intriguing questions we're facing. At Golden, we've become quite excited by problem solving. Thus, we shouldn't think of ourselves as graduating into some soon-to-be dystopian world, but rather into an unsolved problem where we have no idea whether even the class of 2022 will graduate right here on the stadium, over Zoom, or maybe even on Mars. So why are we set to unlock these questions? I believe our graduating year has two key elements. One, we live in a generation where technology and things such as AI are increasingly forcing us to look at questions collaboratively. And two, we live in a time where so many crises have precipitated directly observable changes in our lives. To the first point, the ability to analyze large data allows us to identify patterns that would be enormously difficult, even impossible, for a single individual to uncover. This means that we are standing, or that we are finding ever more surprising correlations, sometimes between what seem to be disparate fields. As such, you don't need to become a climate scientist to help confront climate change. Practically any passion will do. In other words, we will probably find ourselves in completely different jobs with vastly different interests, yet no matter what each one of us does, there will always be some opportunity to make an impact on the world. Now to the second point. Never before have the ramifications of the global scale we operate on been so obvious. Living in a world with so many people traveling and interacting with one another has created a worldwide pandemic that we are only now slowly recovering from. Additionally, more and more national, natural disasters like wildfires and storms are having a devastating impact on the environment. Also, the rapid diffusion of information on the internet has allowed social issues to finally get the attention they deserve. Because of this, we are well versed in both the struggles and benefits of global interactions and thus ready to attack future ones. 
In summary, today we are graduating into a place where saying that the world is riddled with problems is a vast understatement. Even though that's unfortunate, we can still look forward to making a difference no matter what area we're interested in. Oh, and if you're still wondering why the chicken crossed the Mobius Strip, it's because it wanted to get to the same side, right? And a Mobius Strip is a non-orientable surface, so it only has one side. Thank you.